Y'all know what time it is. It's Glocktober! We got sticks when we ride. We slang out where they hide. We slang out where they hide. Right here, we probably have, if not the, one of the rarest Glocks, bro. It's the Glock 24. Kobe! Boy, ain't no way, boy. That one kind of stanky stank. That, that one kind of funky. Mm. So like I said, bro, this is probably one of the rarest Glocks, bro. Like, I don't even know anything about this Glock. Really, I just wanted to get a Glock to make a Kobe edition custom. And I was like, hmm, is there such thing as a Glock 24? Googled it. Nothing popped up about it. You know what I'm saying? And when I Googled Glock 24, it was not much on the internet about the Glock 24. Like you click, click on links and it's just notify when available, notify when available. So I was like, I think I found a hidden gem in this thing, boy. Then I went to the gun store and I was like, hey, have y'all heard of the Glock 24? They looked at me crazy like, nah. Then I started explaining, I was like, it's the long frame 40 cal. And it's like, Nah, I think you're thinking of the Glock 34 chambered in 9 me. I said, nah, 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 bitch, bro. This thing ain't chambered in 40, the Glock 24. Them boys were looking at me like they, like, like, like they didn't know what was going on. So I had to go fishing, bro, and I finally found. Hold on, bro, what's going on here? Why you, why you in the background screaming, crying like that? You in your playroom. You better be playing, bro. Why are you in there crying like that? Oh, he faking. Oh, you faking. You faking. Nah, nah, nah. Show them them fake. Them crocodile tears. Show them them fake crocodile tears. All right, where were we, bro? Um, um, let me think. All right, long story short, bro. I went fishing. Found the Glock 24, bro. Um, this thing was two thousand me dollars, bro. Two thousand me dollars. <laughs> but I had to hit the finesse, you know what I'm saying? I had a Glock that I, I had a, I had a, a Glock clone that I really didn't really care about too much, and I had to do the switch rule, you know what I'm saying? We just know your boy got a good deal. Just know I ain't pay no two bands. Just know I ain't pay no one band. Just know your boy got a good deal. So let's just go ahead. And look at this, bro, because this is going to be my first looks, too. I got this online, so I, I didn't even get to see what it looked like in person. Shee! That bitch slanging, boy. That thing a monster, boy. Lord have mercy. Watch out. Working with a monster. This you, right here, this you, right? The one she say don't worry about. <laughs> nah, but man, this is the Glock 24, bruh. This thing is... <sighs> it's right here. <laughs> it's slanging, now. That, that big 40 cow, come, that, that, that 40 cow got a long barrel, now. It right here gonna poke something from a mile away. But as you can see, man, this is that 40 Smith & Wesson Glock 24 from Austria, bro. This right here is that pressure, bro. This right here, this right here is the rarest Glock, bro. Like, this right here is up there. Like, not too many people had this. Your great-great-grandpa probably had one, but your grandpa didn't have one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your daddy show ain't got one of these. Bruh, if you have a Glock 24, comment down below Glock 24 game, bruh. And don't be in there rap capping, huh? Cause, cause, cause we, we, we had them hitters pull up on you. You know we don't like that line stuff. Damn the address, man. As you can see, this is a Gen 2. This is my first Gen 2 Glock. So like, it's pretty interesting to me. It's very, very interesting from the frame. As you can see, right where your fingers go, they went with the rough texturing. And on the palm swell, they went with the rough texturing. But then, what would you call this part? You know what I'm saying? Because the palm sit right here. 
I don't know. It's like some soft texturing. It's nothing aggressive. This right here is aggressive, but then this is just ah. Eh, you know what I'm saying? Ah. Eh, making a stab. It also has a very, very, very small mag release. Like, that thing is tiny. Like, you're gonna have to go fishing for that one. Bruh, like, really, bruh. Like, look at this mag release. Look at this Gen 5 mag release. Gen 5 mag release is huge compared to that Gen 2 mag release. It's kind of giving me Glock 48 vibes down here. You know what I'm saying? Close by the tip. You know what I'm saying? By the mushroom tip. It's kind of giving me, it, it, it's giving me Glock 48 vibes. And then it's kind of, the frame is kind of slim like a Glock 48 also. Like, it's not as thick as I thought it was going to be. Pause. I was thinking it's going to be like way more thicker because it's a 40. And the barrel, it, it's just not as thick as I thought it was going to be. Pause. Wait, hold on. The Glock 22 frame is kind of slim too. It's, it's not slim, but it's kind of, ah. Uh. This is my Glock 22 frame. Gen 3 and it also has that small mag release, but it has the finger grooves right here, but Hmm, yeah, it's about the It's about the same. It's, a, it's, a, it's about the same. I was just thinking the slide would have been way thicker than what it was But I mean hey, bro, the slimmer the better. I mean you can't conceal this joker like you're gonna be You're gonna be pulling that joke out. You're gonna be like Freeze, punk! It came with one 15 round mag with the plus two camo toe, so that's 17 rounds, I believe. And um, I'm not sure what this is, a little metal part right there. I've never seen this on a mag. Let's see if it can focus for you guys. Focus. Focus now. It has like metal in the mag. I've never seen that in a mag before. Something new to me. I don't know. I don't know why they have that right there. Pretty, pretty interesting. Then there's a loop right by the mag well. I think that could be pretty cool. So when you're trying to reload, ah, uh, ah, uh, up in there. You know what I'm saying? You can just grab that mag. Uh, of course you have a plus two camel toe, but. So I have my Glock 22 mag, holds 15, fits perfectly. You heard the click. Hold on, hold on, listen, listen, listen. Shh, 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 shh. So then you could just put your finger right there, pull that joke out. Maybe that's what they put it for, maybe not. All right, let's test out this Gen 2 trigger. Let's see, let's see. Clear the empties, a little dust flying out. This thing is brand new, by the way. Or at least they said that. Nah, they, piss, they, 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 they didn't piss some rounds through this. They, they can take that lot to their mama. So we got the sponginess. Yeah, we got the wall. And let's go to the break. Whoa! Hold on. Reset. Whoa! Break. Reset. Break. That's the, this is probably the best Glock trigger out the box I didn't have. What the? Gen 2? Y'all need to go back to whatever y'all did back then because these Gen 4 and 5s and he 3s triggers is trash, Glock. What, what you, may, well maybe, maybe they did something because it's more of like a competition style gun. Let's break this thing down for cleaning purposes. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna we're gonna clean this because they obviously shot this before. Smells smells weird. Smells like a Gen 2 Glock. This 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 seemed like like that the 80s or something. So you know what I'm saying? We get up in there, clean all that. We got this right here, recoil spring. And then we have this long barrel, bro. This barrel is long, bro. Let me see if my finger look dirty. Bro, ain't no way. I know they shot this before, bro. Cause look at look at that tip. That tip right there, it got a little black. But you can tell they tried to clean it off. You ain't fooling me, buddy. But it's still in good condition, though. 
And then we're going to clean it. Well, we're going to clean the thing because it smells like, it smell like, like cigarettes or something. Like, I don't know, bro. It smell like something. Maybe the cleaner they use. Ariana. Let's try to get Ariana to smell this. Let's get Gigi Ari to smell this. What? Just smell it. Like, tell me what it smell like to you. If it stinks, I don't want to smell don't, it. Don't take a deep smell. You know, like in science class, how they taught us how to smell? You don't want to smell the chemicals. I like breath, like bad breath. Bad breath? Cigarettes? No. It smell like the 70s or something? Like the 70s? Yeah, like if you go to your grandma's house and it's yeah. like an old house. Yeah, it smell like an old house. Someone probably just had that sitting in their house for years. Probably. And they died and they left their guns now. A haunted gun for Blocktober? I rebuke you, Satan. Not in our house. All right, man, we're back. We cleaned the gun. Um, yeah, I, I'm having a feeling we're gonna have to replace that guide rod because the guide rod, the uh, the polymer on the glide rod tips was like really, really soft. You know, so I'm having a feeling we might just throw a tungsten guide rod in there. Um, oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but it is ported. It does have the ported barrel in the open slide, bro. No, I did not get that done. This was straight factory, I believe. I, I'm not sure if it came from the factory like that, but they said this is factory brand new, so it had to come from the factory like that. But if you didn't know what 40 cal looked like, this right here is a nice EDC round. Little polymer tip 40. Nice little EDC round. Next time you see her, bruh, we're gonna have to go to the store, buy some 40 loads, hit the range, and have a good old time, bruh. We got a good old range session. And after that range session, bruh, I'm gonna ship her off, bruh. I'm gonna ship her off and get her custom. Oh, you are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. I know some of y'all probably like, why would I do an antique glock like that? But hear me out, bro. hear me out. I'm gonna make this thing a Kobe edition. So that should like raise the value. True or false, T tell me if I'm tripping, but it should raise the value because I'm just gonna get a straight Kobe edition, pay some respect to Kobe Bryant, put GG on there, put their numbers on there, championship trophies on here. We're gonna pick Kobe, you know what I'm saying? like. I'm thinking about just making this a straight Kobe edition Glock since the 24. That was the plan in the first place. But y'all let me know, man. Should I keep it stock since it is kind of rare? And like, you know, it's better to have stock guns. Like stock guns hold more value than custom guns. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to take this risk. I feel like it's going to be like one of those Donald Trump guns. Like in the future, those guns are going to be freaking crazy priced at them gun shows. But y'all let me know, bro. I'm thinking about doing another gold gun slash Corded Arms collaboration because when they when they pick they you know what I'm saying it's all together it's just like boy that's that pressure that's that pressure we might go with a gold slide then get Cerakote um, stippling all types at the bottom from Corded Arms gold slide from Gold Guns I'm thinking I'm thinking we might do that but that's all we gonna do for today bro I'm gonna see y'all boys tomorrow man. I'm gonna see y'all boys tomorrow. Don't trip. Make sure y'all beat this like button up, man. Share this to your grandmama. Huh. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Y'all boys, I've been getting a lot of messages about getting a, 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 a Glock. I think it was like a 33, 32. I'm not sure. But it's a 357. I don't own a 357 Glock. I need a 357 and a 45 Gaps to complete my Glock collection. And, and y'all boys been saying get the 357. So so this this is what we gonna do. I'm gonna make a deal with y'all, bro. Y'all want me to get the Glock, but these guns ain't free, bro. So get this video to 10,000 likes, and I go cop the 357 like that. Did month. Pressure, fire pressure. 3D, feeling like a motion picture, too big for the TV. The most I said in this truth, young and just be me. So please try your best not to judge when you see me. And we don't.